let's get started. Now, all of you are talking about this today. The president ordered some major vaccine mandates that will impact tens of millions of Americans. All employees at businesses with over 100 staff members now have to be vaccinated. Healthcare workers, federal government employees are also required to get the jab. Here's just some of what the president said. What more is there to wait for? What more do you need to see? We've made vaccinations free, safe and convenient. The vaccine is FDA approval. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. So DBL Nation, these are some pretty big mandates. We want to hear what you think. In fact, a lot of you are already writing in. Do you support President Biden's vaccine mandates for employees? Yes or no? There is the tag board right there. Go to dblvote.com to weigh in. Um, before we get to our medical expert, because I know, Dr. Coley, you do not like to get involved in politics, and I really respect that as a doctor. How are you feeling about this? Look, we, especially when we start, when we're talking about federal, federal workers, the government has a, a, a you know, a, they have a mandate to protect them. And if they allow people to come to work and get sick, slow our government down, shut our government down, then Biden will then be attacked on that when he goes for reelection. Or... They affect the economy because businesses are constantly shutting down and shuttering and going through brown and blackouts. That, econ that economic hit is going to be used to attack Biden. So this is all medical and professional for him. So I think he's got to do it. Interesting. I always thought there'd be a mandate or a loophole around it. It's the way of the vaccines. It's always worked. It's eradicated polio. You might have a smallpox scar right now. That was mandated. So th the Supreme Court has already ruled on it. I'm really glad we're pushing forward. I wonder about, and I can ask you this, what about individuals that can't physically get the vaccine because they're uh, autoimmune compromised? There are very few, Sam, that can't actually get the vaccine, but because of those individuals that can't get it, we can certainly do medical exemptions. So just because there's a mandate doesn't mean you can't opt out. You just need your doctor, healthcare provider to write a note to do it. But I have to say in response to what the president did yesterday, I am thrilled. I As think, a doctor. Yes, and com coming completely from a medical perspective, so no politics. The more people we can get vaccinated, the sooner we're going to get over this. And I actually feel like he didn't take it far enough. And I also think it was too late coming. We should have done this a couple of months ago, but I'm glad that it's finally here. And I think we are going to see the impact of this soon. Well, well that's my question. Is yeah. when, when are we going to see that impact? Like, when do you anticipate? Well, it's going to be at least a couple of months out. So I'm thinking around Thanksgiving, because by the time if we got people vaccinated today, it takes about six weeks for them to get immunity and another two weeks for that to start manifesting in the cases. Wow. Um, I want to involve just because there's a lot of very angry reactions from the right over President Biden's new strategy. In fact, the RNC says they'll sue to stop it. And Texas Governor Greg Abbott tweeted, quote, Biden's vaccine mandate is an assault on private businesses. I issued an executive order protecting Texans right to choose whether they get the COVID vaccine. Also, Sean Hannity had this to say on his show last night. Uh, Joe, you canceled all medical freedom today with your broad edict and your mandates, uh, one size fits all medicine. You eliminated medical privacy. You em eliminated all doctor patient confidentiality and ask yourself, what does Dr. Joe Biden know about every unvaccinated American? Listen, a lot of our viewers are echoing uh, his very sentiments. First, I want to look at the poll. We got 62% of you saying, yes, you do support the mandate. That's interesting. Okay. But for the 38% of you who don't support the mandate, um, Dr. Coley, do you believe that this is taking away? Let's speak directly to our viewers, to that 38%. Do you believe that it's taking away people's medical freedom? Absolutely not. And I, it's really important for people to understand what medical freedom means. Medical freedom means the decision to make a choice about my body, what I put inside of it, free from governmental interference. But that decision, by definition, cannot encroach upon somebody else's medical health, medical risk, or medical freedom. The minute that it does, it's no longer falls under the category of medical freedom. So just like Tori brought up the example of vaccines, we've talked about drunk driving, we've talked about seat belts, smoking, like smoking, right outside. smoking in public places because right, it affects the other hand. person. Yep. Right, right, There's right. so many things that we do because we live in a society that we have to do. We follow traffic laws because you know that's how we live in a society together. My actions can affect somebody else. So it's really a little bit of a distortion to say that this is taking away medical freedom. But what would you say to somebody that says, you know, this is affecting or violates my medical privacy or like my 
patient doctor confidentiality agreement. Well, you still have a relationship with your doctor where everything that you disclose to your doctor is confidential. Your ability to show proof of vaccination does in no way violate that relationship. So I want to explain what HIPAA is because a lot of people are using HIPAA. Yeah, Hi everyone. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Everyone's like HIPAA, HIPAA, HIPAA. <laughs> I'm like, what? HIPAA it's a is, buzzword. It, it, really is. Is. it really is. It's a law that prevents a third party from sharing your medical information without your permission. So if you tell your employer what your vaccination status is, they can't share it with somebody else without your permission. But you yourself can absolutely share anything you want and people can ask you and you can volunteer that information and it is not a violation of any kind of privacy law. It's not interesting when people twist things. Well, it's nice to hear it from someone who's just absolutely no medical the, facts. Exactly. The definition. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. So that's why we have you here, Dr. Coley. Let's look one more time at our tag board. 62% of you believe, 38% of you say no mandate, 62% of you agree with uh, President Biden and the mandates. Dr. Coley, thank you so much for being here and clarifying, answering our questions per usual. We love you.